Hey everyone, this will be a quick video because um, I'm outside right by the air conditioning that I had to shut off to be able to do this video so the trailer is going to get warm quick. I wanted to show you this happy mail that I received the other day. I still don't know from who. I mean, there's information on the return address, but it's not an address I familiar with and it's not a name I'm familiar with and um, I did mention in a video if the person wanted to email me and letting me know that this came from them so that I could send an email back thanking them hopefully they'll see this video and know that I'm very thankful this is some yarn I've never seen before like this um, buttercream Lux Craft Rainbow Bol um, Bolche? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, teals and blues, and it is soft. And there's two of those in the same <clears throat> colorway. <clears throat> and then this one, I know this is a Michaels, but I never saw it at my Michaels. And it is Heartbeat <clears throat> is the color. Look at that. And then this scarfy. Look at all those grays and blues. I've never seen this. It's a lion brand. And these shawls in the ball. Now, I used to see shawl in a ball. I never um, bought a shawl in a ball. So this is going to be fun. Look at all those shades of purples. This is um, Lotus Blossom. Oh, you can hear the chicken. And look at this one. All those shades. This is Pastel Pixie. This, Vanna's Choice. I have seen this before. Oh, I got a fly around me. Barley. Look at that. And then look at these. This looks real fun. Looks real summery. Oh, and then these. All those earth tones. Whoever it is knows that I love earth tones and I love variegated. And, uh, I really appreciate you sending this, whoever you are. <laughs> it feels weird to not know, but I do appreciate it, and I hope that you know how much I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We don't have a church tonight. The service has been called off. My pastor is, um, he had a little surgery on Friday. So he's been recuperating. He did go to church this morning, I heard. I didn't make it, but he was there. And, um, but it's been, the service tonight's been called off <clears throat> so that he can rest more. And then there's some others that are down sick. One little boy that's in my class, he has really bad asthma. And um, he's not feeling good. His dad is a respiratory therapist for children, so... I'm sure. I know his dad is taking good care of him. So it feels kind of strange not being in church now, tonight. But I have plenty to do. I can show you around these chickens. Or show. There's Lady Jane sitting down. It must be about maybe 7 o'clock. The sun is, by 8 o'clock, it's dark now, so the sun is getting ready to set. There's a rooster and a little silky. Oh, there's Raphael. We know what he's up to when he starts dancing around her. Up to no good.
Oh, let me put on my um let me put on my chicken shoes. I've got these on. Let me put these on and I'll show you something. So this is a Happy Mail video and a little extra. Look at that, Raphael. Hello. Now look at this. This is a blanket ladder. I have ended up with three blanket ladders. The white one I had showed quite a while ago is my favorite. But this, I've left it out here for a few days to see if any chicken will get on it. Because my plan is this, um, this ladder really needs to come out. I don't like it. And you can see this is some kind of um, like styrofoam. My landlord's uncle built this coop when he had his chickens. Um... I want to take it out. I'm going to need help, though. I want to take it out. And I want to put that in. I'm just wondering if the chicken's claws will be able to go over this to, um, to get up into the nesting boxes. I don't know. I want to change things around in this coop before uh, the cold weather comes. I've seen people on YouTube even use pallets for roosting bars. I mean, they have a roosting bar. They got two, you see. Um, and then there's the nesting boxes. And they got other bars around there. Uh, I don't know. So far, I haven't seen no chicken on this. Getting some grass. I'll get it for you. Once more. Now, if I break this and I put it on the ground won't not eat it but will for my hand well that piece is too big okay I know you're very particular tomorrow I'm gonna feed you that treat that our friends bought you Okay. I had two of these terracotta dishes. If you remember, I showed you I have one for water for the chickens to either drink out of or stick their feet in when it's really hot. Then I decided to use this other one for their food because the bowl that I was using for their food, they kept knocking over. What are you up to? Her comb is looking much better, much brighter, or deeper red, like it should be. I was worried about her. That one's feathers are growing back. And that's not poop in there. That's um, collard greens. And when I put her in the... Um, when I put her in the coop tonight, I take all that stuff out of there and clean it for the next day. Let's look at this again. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all this wonderful fancy yarn. And I have an idea what I'm going to make with this and with one of these. I mean, I'm going to use it all eventually, but right off the top of my head, I've already been thinking of something with those three. Thanks again.